Well, uh, my name is Claudia. I am from Argentina. I came here with my friend Laura. Argentina originally, where from? Which town? From La Plata. La, La Plata, Plata is the, the capital of, of the province of Buenos Aires. Okay. And uh, we, we, we've danced mm -hmm. uh, together for quite many years. Um, circle dance. This is a kind of uh, international folk dances. Okay, so you got international folk dancing. In yes, yes. Oh, we wow. have a festival uh, every year. We, we hold a festival in Cordoba, in the province of Cordoba, in Argentina. And well, we dance there. We learn many, many dances. We love, uh, I don't know, learning dances from different cultures. And we knew about this festival through Win. She's our American friend, and she told so your us about this. Here? She's hosting, yeah, exactly. she's helping you. Exactly. Yeah, she's our know. friends and our hostess, and, uh, and <laughs> yeah. So, how in the world do you find about this place? Well, because she came to Argentina, we are we've been friends for a long time, okay. and uh, we were together this February, dancing together in this circle dance camp. It's a very big camp like this one, but it's not only Balkan, but different. You know, they do everything, right? D different countries. They're not Balkan only. They do everything. That's from exactly all around the world. Uh, everywhere. I know. Armenian, place. Israelian, <laughs> Argentinian, from all over the, so the world. So, what you do in real life? I mean, what's your profession? What's your? Well, I'm a teacher. I'm an English teacher. She's also a teacher. And she's uh, what? In a teacher. I have in elementary school. school. Oh, I have a private school. It's a private school, yeah. and wow. I just I give lessons to. Okay. to kids in, in elementary school and in high now school. I was laughing, they told me, hey, these two chicks are from Argentina. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I travel like, you know, 1,100 miles from St. Louis and have you imagined how long you travel? <laughs> well, yes, yeah, so this is our first big travel after many years, 20 years. We, we, we used to travel together when we were 20 years old. And now we are together on the together. road. We have our oh kids waiting for us back in Argentina, our families. <laughs> but we left everyone just to come here and dance and share with this big, beautiful family. So, how you like the place here? Nice talking with you. How do you like the place? Yeah, I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. Hello. What kind of classes oh, do you take? Mostly dance classes because we we also share these dances down there in Argentina. We, with, we, we don't play any instrument, only, okay. so only dances. Can, uh, we teach dancing? Or? Yes, yes. We, They're we very hold good our, teachers. We hold our own yeah. dance group also. That's uh, why another activity. Like all the dances, you dancing, everything, huh? <laughs> yeah, so last night all the, kinds of dances. Do we do the Armenian dance? With all those couple? Yeah. They can dance anything. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love dancing, what really. What about South America dances? Oh yeah, yeah we dance up, yeah, Argentinian so, dances. Tell us more about uh, uh, folk dancing in Argentina. I mean, I mean, it's really we don't know anything about it. I mean, folk dancing in Argentina. Well, um, where we live in the center, like in the capital area, Buenos Aires and around La Plata, is very near. It's like an hour from Buenos Aires. Okay. Um, you you see tango more there. You get to see tango more. Sure. People sure. go into attending classes or tango. Uh, you know. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. We, or special <laughs> bars. But we all know tango. Uh, the, the the traditional music like chacarera, gato, samba that you dance with sure. uh, with handkerchiefs and it's very beautiful. Uh, you you can get to see that in the north of Argentina, in the north provinces uh, like Jujuy, Salta. It's really alive there. Um, in La Plata, well, we, we study it, or there are special folk schools for kids. Um, but, well, it's not that you go to every bar or every traditional party. You know, tradition is not very alive in them. Uh, what about in the, the instruments Buenos which you see in camp here? Do you guys have a chance to see those instruments out there? Accordion, gaida, caval? Uh, well, accordion we know, but caval uh, and the, 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 the other, what's the name? I was Astor dancing Pia, all the Astor time. Piazzolla, right? famous we don't know, are we asking you? That's why. <laughs> no, we Astor don't know. Piazzolla, a famous Argentinian plays uh, tango with a Yes, sure, sure, yeah. sure. Uh, yes, accordion is, is, is used. Call, uh, actually, I got my students playing one of his pieces. Oh, yeah. so beautiful. Yes, yeah. yeah. at some point all the music is one and all the dance is one. This well, is I guess our they, experience they, they here. They did say for a reason the music is universal language, so you really don't need to speak the language, yeah. but you can dance as much as you want. Of course. Yeah, exactly. Thank you but until you've, okay, thank theme, you. until you've seen the Riku Dim, until you've seen the Riku dances, you haven't really seen these ladies dance. 
because they are expert. Rekudim is Israeli dances. They do the Balkan dances very well, but they do the Rekudim. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> She's our fan. Excellent. <laughs> but the most excellent. It's really actually really easy to recognize the dancers because they got the dancers' body, the lights and everything else. You see them, you guys do lots of exercising, especially dancing. I can recognize the people who dance a lot because of this portion of the lights, right? <laughs> After all these years, you know, I can tell that both of you guys, three of you actually, doing a lot of <laughs> thank dancing. You. Thank you very much for this. Oh, Appreciate thank you. Thank you. Thank you for you. Good luck.
it's only it's only Janet Brand. Oh yeah, Janet. George is pushing me away, and it hurts. I Hi, Janet. <laughs> <laughs>
and uh, I came to this camp with my family. And How old I, are you? Uh, I'm 13, and I came here with my family four years ago. Um, it's because um, we really like Vulcan music, and it's very fun here. Hi, I'm Becky. Um, I also play top on. I'm 15. And my drum teacher told me about this camp, so I started coming three years ago. All right. I'm Sophie. I'm 14. Uh, I play accordion and piano and flute, but I, I mostly play accordion here. Uh, I've been coming here since since the year after I was born, my mom stayed home to take care of me and then she brought me the next year. And my parents have been going for even longer than that. So it's really become like part of who I am is coming to Balkan camp each summer. And it's so much fun. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Um, hi, I'm Zabuya. And it's perfectly fine if you can't pronounce my name. I'm very used to it. What's your name again? Zabuya. And it's okay. <laughs> Z -U. My name is Mansour, believe me. I got the same trouble, so I'll miss you. I know. You got some weird things. How, how are these names hard to pronounce? I don't, I don't uh, understand. Well, well, some people mess them up, and, and then you get like Zacharias or something. I'm like, what? <laughs> no. So, how are your parents find the name um, that you got right now? Where did it come from? My parents were hippies when I was born, and, <laughs> <laughs> and they decided that it was appropriate. Okay. Yeah, so um, this is my second year at camp. My dad has been coming for a longer amount of time, but um, he actually only convinced me like a year ago, and I also did not want to leave my house in the summer. <laughs> I'm not very sociable usually. Um, yeah, I play baritone horn in Tojik Nation. It's fun. What's Chachak Nation? Chachak Nation is it's a kids band. This is mostly kids. It's a teenager. It's like it's a mostly not it's mostly the young adult band. Young adult band. Yeah, this, this is Chachak Nation. Not the whole basically. It's a proper name. Okay. It's yeah. a growing most up band. Us. Yeah, <laughs> most of us are right now. Did you guys grow up together? Most likely in this camp. Uh, some, some of us. Some of us. And others and the people that haven't have become BFFs in like in like a week's time. Yeah. No time at all, huh? All right. Really. Okay, I'm Marta, and I play violin in Chojek Nation. Um, I'm 15, and I've been coming here for six or seven years, but you my dad's been coming for a while. With your parents, or? With my dad. Is that the camper from before? He plays something, or? Yeah, he plays trumpet. So everybody's parents play something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, <laughs> my dad plays Godolka and my mom plays Uttergarden and and something else. And my dad, and they both sing also, and my mom plays the frame drum also with Polly's class when she does that. Yeah, they always find something to do and sometimes drag me into it. What about, what about Peter? Yeah. Peter. So, hi, I'm, I'm Peter, and um, I play viola and tambora. Uh, this, this is actually my fifth year at camp, so I've been, I've been coming here for a while. Um, the, the, the way I found out about this camp was um, my grandparents are really um, into Balkan culture, mostly folk dancing, but um, say so yeah, um, one year, I think it was the summer after first grade. I think it was, um, they asked me if I'd like to come, so I, so I thought, why not? And I came, and it was the most amazing camp I've ever been to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, um, music music is just part of the atmosphere here. It's it's really amazing. So, so you are this year with your grandparents, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. So what about your parents? Are they um, here? Well, my, my mother, um, this, is, this is on my mother's side. So my mother grew up with this, but she isn't actually all that interested and my dad is currently hiking in the Catskills because um, the only music he really appreciates is classical music. And then he, he doesn't really care about the folk yeah. Then he's annoyed at us for not appreciating classical music. Um, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, um, my, my parents don't, didn't really want to come. So. Okay. But your grandparents love the uh, yeah. surrounding, right? Yeah, it's, 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 sort, of, it's sort of skipped a generation. <laughs> <laughs> 
there's, there's like there's like a Balkan musician gene. Like, okay, <laughs> skipped a generation. Thanks. Um, I'm Felicia. I'm 15. I play Doom back in Church of Nation. Um, I've been coming here since before I was born. Um, <laughs> my parents have been coming here since it was at Ramblewood. I this is like part of my life. The, it's so much fun here. There's always music playing, people jamming out on their porches. Everyone's so nice here. You just make a bunch of friends. What's your playing with your Um, I play Doombeck and I've been taking Taban and I used to play the violin but not anymore. What about your parents? Are they playing something or just dancers? Um, they, yeah, they play everything. They play new thing every year, so they always bring something back home. So our house is kind of filled with instruments, <laughs> like all the time. Where are you from? I'm from Michigan. Which part? Um, just the suburbs around Detroit. So. I used to live in Detroit, <laughs> and I escaped. It. <laughs> That's right. My sister lives in there, the twelve mile mile. So. Oh, I live by Ten Mile in Coolidge. Oh, not that bad, far. My name is Jesse. Um, I'm 20. I've been coming to Balkan camp for years. It's basically a family based tradition. Um, my family basically comes every year. Um, my family is in love with with Balkan music and folk dance, all of it. Um, I play Dumek for Chochek Nation. I used to play the trumpet, but I kind of fallen out of it. Um, Basically, my whole, my whole family has been part of this culture for ages now. Um, I used to come to Balkan camp so that I could see my friends when I was little, but now I come to play music. Is, uh, what about parents? What are they playing? What are they doing? Well, my or? dad plays it. Well, he, he's kind of following me. Like he. Um, he used to play the trumpet, but now he's kind of falling out of it because, well, he's getting, he's a lot older now, so <laughs> How it's getting harder for him to play. Is that? <laughs> well, he's already retired, so. Oh, okay. nice. You're right. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, my name is Ellen. I am 17 years old, and I think I started coming to this camp when I was around seven years old, so it's been quite a while. And I come with my parents and my brother, who is 18. My brother doesn't play instruments, but my mom, she plays the violin, and she's learning Gadelka right now. My dad just dances. When I first came to this camp, I actually started out mainly on the violin, but then I think four or five years ago, there was the auction. They offered an accordion lesson, and I took the accordion lesson. I liked it a lot, and the accordion that I took the lesson with, the person offered to sell it to me. I bought the accordion. Played a little bit at home, learned out of some books, and now I play accordion with the Chochek Nation band, and it's a lot of fun. I, the, the great thing about here is they have the auctions, and it's so easy to try out new instruments. I've been taking the beginner's tambura class this week, so I'm playing accordion and tambura, and that's a lot of fun. What is Gadolka actually for? Oh, the Gadolka. It's an instrument, it's a stringed instrument that has three main strings and a number of sympathetic strings which are strings that you only hear when you play a note that matches the pitch. And you play it like this. It's kind of pear-shaped. And then you bow it. It's like a violin. You hold it sideways. It's very, very difficult to learn. I've tried to teach myself out of a number of books in Bulgarian. I do not read Bulgarian. That made it even more difficult. <laughs> But can you even, can you even read Cyrillic? Out well, I, I don't even know how to type it because it's in Cyrillic. I'd have to get a whole new keyboard. Oh, I know, I know what I know. There are I just recently, you can use to, like, there's so many people here who speak so many different languages. So I recently asked Eva to like write down the Bulgarian, the Cyrillic alphabet. So now, if I wanted to, I could like like roughly what each word. Uh, each letter uh, represents like. They're starting. They're still playing. We'll come. We'll come back. 
Uh, we, I think we have time. Yeah, we have time. We, we don't play for it. We have time. We're first. So we're about a couple of Yeah, we're, we're first. We're first. They'll search. They'll search. They <laughs> okay, if, okay, if we, if um, we stop talking, it's all for us. Right. Keep going. Um, my name is Aaron. I'm 15 years old, and I've been coming to this camp uh, since I was uh, in utero. Um, <laughs> So, you know, my whole life. Um, my father is one of the founding members of ZU, of Zlatan East Day. Um, so he, he plays top on it. Um, and so I've grown up totally submerged in this culture. I'm, I don't have any Balkan heritage, but I've uh, grown up playing, constantly being surrounded by the culture. Yeah, hearing Balkan the music. Camp I have that's Balkan the same, camp That's parody. the same thing. Are you the one who stepped dance for me when he was five with his two brothers? I think that's my brother. He used to Your brother. He was a five and he yeah. was step dancing and he was earning yeah. his <laughs> money in a yeah. buffalo gap. Yeah. yeah, buffalo gap. Oh my God. He, he was a dancer. Uh, I'm a musician. <laughs> that's <laughs> my thing. Um, yeah, and uh, so I'm, I'm playing more and more music in my life. I'm going to music school. I'm starting to enter a few bands. Um, and I'm absolutely certain none of that would have been possible if I hadn't been surrounded by this environment. Um, really incredible creative environment, really fosters experimentation and creativity, and uh, just provides you with a basis that you, you won't find anywhere else, and divorces it from, it's Balkan camp, you know, it's not about one country, it's about the region, so it focuses on the, the music and the culture, but divorces it from the historical um, turbulence and all the problems in the region, Politics so you really get, you get the best of it without having to worry about, you know, Perfect. the, yeah, the, Oh, that's awesome. yeah. I'm Ariana, I'm Kat's sister, and I'm 15. My dad was also one of the founding members of Zlatan Day, you know and so I've just been living in this forever, and I've been coming to this camp for about five, six years, um, but it's just become my life and I wouldn't miss it for the world. I play baritone horn and I also play top on. Yeah, we gotta run. We're, yeah, we're yeah we gotta yeah. run. Wait, wait. Do uh, one more one more one more one more. Oh, quick. One more. Really? I'm Robbie, I'm 15, I play the top on, um, and I have been like a, a rock drummer for about six years, and then this guy who I'm in a band with uh, in the city, he got me into Balkan music this year, and it's really cool, and this is a really good camp, and we gotta go play. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys very much.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is that? What do They should have something. I'm going to go dump this. Ovo je poslovni dan, sutra idemo kući. Svi jedu u jagnjetinu. Hrana je odlična. Ne budemo što go home. Jam. Jam, 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 jam. Thank you. Uh-oh. Paparazzi. I didn't do it. I want to see how you're eating. Oh. I look for the full mouth. That is so <laughs> wrong. Look at the food. That is so wrong. <laughs> no, that's not wrong. I'm just going to wait like 15 seconds before I look at you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have anything in my teeth here? Get it on camera. There's no food in the teeth. Don't worry about it. Let's see again. Let's see again. Let's see again. Don't see. they all? Don't they all? <laughs> Good times. Yeah. As we Great say in Banya Luka, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. 
I know, I saw Karen. Oh, wow, yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Saying like, oh yeah, it's gonna hurt the first week, and by like the week.